Good morning, students. Good morning, fifth standard. Welcome you all once again in history period. Okay. Uh, lesson number five, evolution of mankind. Yesterday, we had solved the puzzle, right? And also we had written, answer in brief. Okay. And uh, today, we have to write short notes. Okay. Today, we have to write five short notes. Let's start. Let's start with me. Homo habilis. Number one, Homo habilis. The first thing the first stage of the first thing in the evolution of mankind was Homo habilis. A species discovered by Louis Rique in the border region between Tanzania and Kenya and Kenya in the continent of Africa. In the continent of Africa. Its face and limbs We are similar to that
However, these are a bigger brain. He made store tools. that were useful for hunting small animals. He gathered eggs. He gathered eggs. Uh, one fruits. I am not stupid. And roots. See here, here our short note is over. Okay. Here our first short note is over. Homo habilis, the first stage of, sorry, the first stage in me. In, I am in. The first stage in. The first stage in the evolution of mankind was Homo habilis. A species discovered by Louis Leakey in the border region between Tanzania and Kenya in the continent of Africa. His face and limbs were similar to that of the apes. However, he had a bigger brain. He made stone tools that were useful for hunting small animals. He gathered eggs, wild fruits and roots to eat. Okay, now number two. Homo erectus. Homo erectus. Homo erectus. Homo erectus had a more Then the more families. And we will stand in it.
See students, this is second note that is Homo erectus. Homo erectus had a more developed brain than Homo habilis and he could stand erect. Okay, he knew the uses of fire but had not mastered the technique of making fire. Okay, his tools were more developed, such as the hand axe. Tools made by Homo erectus have been discovered in Africa, Asia, and Europe. Okay. Here, our second short note is over. Now, the third one. Nanda Kanda. Then the third man is the next stage. In the evolution of Mankind after Homo erectus. This man was Physically big and strong. Physically big and strong. He had 
hunted big animals he hunted big animals and use their leather for clothing and use their leather for clothing he used stone plates to scrap meat from the hide of dead animals and use their leather for He knew the art of making fire and ate meat roasted on fire. He had their love, artistic skills, and communicated with. and communicate their bit each other by grunts and friendly sounds he observed some rituals by burning the dead he observed some rituals by burying the dead See here. 
Nendarthal man. Okay, Nendarthal man is the next man, is the next stage in the evolution of mankind after Homo erectus. The man was physically big and strong. He hunted big animals and used their leather for clothing. He used stone plates to scrap meat from the hide of dead animals. He knew the art of making fire and ate meat roasted on fire. He had developed artistic skills and communicate with each other. Each other. Take a word, each other. Hmm. By grunts and primary sounds. He observed some rituals by burning the dead. Okay. Fine. Here, work period is over. Okay. For what is that? Read the lesson carefully and learn. Fill in the blanks. Bye bye. Take care.